So welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number seven from the October-November 2023 uh, Statistics S1 paper. This is from Cambridge. This is paper five, variant two. And this is from the 9709 syllabus. Okay, so now it says find the number of different arrangements of the nine letters in the word Andromeda in which no consonant is next to another consonant. The letters D, M, N, and R are consonants, and the letters A, E, and O are not consonants. Okay, they are vowels, basically. So we have vowels and consonants here. Okay, so the consonants are the letters D, M, N, and R. And we can see in this, in this, um, in this word, the number of Ds we have is 2. The number of Ms is 1, and Ns and Rs are 1. So we have all together two, three, four, five, five letters altogether. Okay, D is repeated. And if we look at this word, we also have vowels. Now they told us the vowels are A, E, and O. Okay, those are not constants, so they're vowels. So A, E, and O are the vowels. And from those, we can see in the word Andromeda, you have A is twice, it's repeated once, so it's twice. And the rest of the O and the E just appears once. So altogether here, there are four letters. Okay, so in total, there are nine letters, as it holds. Okay, so therefore, we can now proceed and try to um, deal with this question. Now, when you have a question like this, basically, what we need is for the uh, vowels to be, the consonants to be separated. And they will be separated by vowels. So I'm going to have a vowel and a space and the, the space before it could be for consonant so that's that's two vowels then a space for consonant then another vowel then a space for consonant then another vowel and then a space for a consonant so we have four vowels and we have one two three four five so it works out quite nicely in this particular case that we have these spaces and that's only one kind of arrangement that you can make here for which the vowels will be not next to each other okay uh, so the constants will not be next to each other. The constants are separated by vowels here. The constants are separated by vowels. Okay. Okay, so now um, what we see here, if we have for the consonants, we have one, two, three, four, five spaces. So there's five factorial ways that we can place the consonants in these and we can arrange them in these spaces. Okay. Um, you see there's 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay. And we see also that there are two repeated consonants. So to, to get rid of the repetitions, we divide here by 2. Okay. So we're going to divide that by 2. What's happened to my pen? One second. So we divide that by 2. Okay. So 2 factorial, which is just 2 basically. And then we also have the places for the vowels, we have four vowels, and again, we have four spaces for the vowels, so that comes out quite easy, so it's four factorial, again, we have one of the vowels is repeated, the A is repeated twice, to get rid of that repetition, we're going to divide again by two factorial, so we end up with five factorial over two factorial, times four factorial over two factorial, and that will give us our answer, we can stick that in our calculator, pretty simple, so we can say here that we're going to have 5 times 5 factorial times 4 factorial put it as a big fraction so 5 factorial multiplied by 4 factorial divided by 2 times 2 of course 2 factorial is just 2 it's 2 times 1 so that's divided by 4 altogether so we end up with basically just it's basically uh, 720, so 720 ways, okay, that we can arrange the nine letters in the word Andromeda such that there is no consonant next to another consonant. All the consonants are separated by vowels, basically. Okay, so there's the answer to part A. It worked out quite easy because it was only five arranged in five spaces and four arranged in four spaces. And we had, you know, these repeated letters. D and A tw twice both. So that's why we divided by two and then two again. And there's part A finished. 
Now for part B, it says find the number of different arrangements. Again, we have arrangements, so we're going to use um, you know, combinations for arrangements of the nine letters of the word Andromeda, in which there is an A at the end and the Ds are not together. So we have to have an A in each end. Then we have, that's one space. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the ninth letter is going to be an A. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine letters. And the A's must be at the end. So we're going to be dealing with these letters here. Now, when you want to deal with um, the D's being not together, the easiest thing to do is to have the total arrangements, the total arrangements without any conditions. Okay, with no, co no condition. Okay, no condition. Minus the um, D's together. The D's together, not, not together, together. That's the easiest way to do with this question, right? So the total arrangements is going to be basically, um, well, let's let's put the, we're going to have basically seven, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven factorial, okay? All right, that's the total, uh, as if there's no condition. And then we're going to deal with the Ds being together. Okay, so the Ds have to stay together. So they can be in any of these spaces, okay, but they must be together. So what we do is we see we take this as one complete block that has to be together, and then we got another two, three, four, five. So we have six spaces. Okay. So the seven factorial, okay, is going to be basically um you know all the, the numbers all together, okay, in any arrangement, but we're gonna divide by two because of the repeated Ds, okay? And we're also gonna divide by, uh, the A's are out of it, so we don't have to worry about the A's, okay? Minus, and now we have here, six different spaces that the Ds can be in, that, the, that all the letters can be in. You can arrange these letters with the Ds together, it's like, that's one block. There's six spaces that they can be rearranged in. So you're gonna have six factorial, so six times five times four times three times two times one so you're going to have minus six factorial okay but then you have to divide that by the no that's six factorial sorry there's no repetitions now okay but then we also have times these two can be arranged amongst themselves in two factorial ways but they're divided by two factorial anyway because uh, there's a re repeat, so that will cancel out. So it's just going to be 7 factorial over 2 minus 6 factorial. Okay, so that will give us the total arrangement. So we have 7 factorial over 2 factorial, which is just 2, minus 6 factorial. So we have 7 factorial. Okay, divided by 2. Okay, minus 6 factorial. So that gives us 1,800. So it's 1,800 ways that we can arrange the letters such that the A's are at the end and the D's are not together, okay? So basically, this is the ways of keeping the D's together, six factorial, with the A's being at the end, okay? And we've got to think about the arrangements with the A's being at the end that we can arrange these without any condition. So the D's can be anywhere, and so on. So we have, if the D's can be any place, there's no condition, all right, for them to be together, then you have seven spaces, but we have to con consider the two D's, you know, switching positions, so they, they will be basically like a uh, repetition, so we have to divide by the two factorial there. Minus the six factorial, as there's six spaces here, if we consider this as one block, okay, and then, you know, if these can be arranged amongst themselves, but they're the same thing, so we don't have to worry about that. So you end up with 1,800 ways, and there's the answer to part B of this question. Now we're going to move on to part C, which is about probability. It says four letters are selected at random from the nine letters in the word Andromeda. Find the probability that this selection contains at least one D and exactly one A. Okay, so we've got to think of the different ways. We're going to choose four letters. So we've got one, two, three, four letters we have to choose from these. Okay, we're going to find the probability. Okay, that this selection contains at least one D and exactly one A. Now, if there is 
no conditions, we can say the total number of outcomes, the total outcomes, which will be our denominator in our probability, is going to be basically, we have to choose nine, uh, from nine letters, we have to choose four. Okay, it doesn't have to be any arrangement or anything. This is to do with um, probability. So we, we do 9C4, that will be our denominator. So we do 9C4, oops, that's a, a 9C4, and that gives us 126. So that's our denominator. And then we've got to think of the different cases. So let me just move this down here. Okay, so we got one case is there has to be at least one D and exactly one A. Let's look at exactly one A and at least one D. So let's say one D. Okay, and then we look at and the other case would be when you have something like this, we have exactly one A and now at least one D we could be two Ds. This is, and those are the only two kind of cases because you can't have more than two Ds because there's only two Ds there, right? So we can think about how to deal with this one. We can say the number of ways here will be, right, how many ways are there to choose um, an A for the first space here? Well, there are two to choose from, and there's one space to put that A times. Now we're going to pick for the second let the second space. Well, there are, again, two Ds to choose from and one space to put them in. And then the rest of the letters, we've now, the, they can't be A or D. So A's and D's are now out of it. So we've got five other letters to choose from and we have two spaces to fill. Okay, so that will be the number of ways of getting A and D, and it, can, it will basically con uh, you know, give us all the different combinations of that. All right, so that's 2C1, 2C1, 5C2, and now we've got ADD. So again, here we have two to choose from, and we have one space to fill. And here for this, these two have to be D, so we have two to choose from and two to fill. That's only one way of doing that. And then for the last letter, we have, again, five to choose from and only one letter, to, one, one space to fill. Okay, so that will give us the number of uh, ways that we're going to have, at least one D and exactly one A. And then we divide that by the total outcomes, therefore we will get the probability. So here we're going to have 2C1, which is 2, times 2C1, which is 2, times 5C2, which is 10. Let me just make sure of that. I think it's 10. 5 c2 that's 10 so 2 times 2 times 10 is 40 that's 40 ways and here we have 2c1 which is 2 2c2 which is 1 and 5c1 which is 5 that's going to be 10 so total we have 50 ways so therefore the probability that we have at least at least 1d and exactly 1a is going to be 50 ways out of 126 in total so that gives us an answer that's going to be 25 over 63 so that's going to be equal to 25 over that's 63 and there's the answer to the last part of the question now this permutations and combinations type of topic is probably the, the topic that most people find confusing in this um, chapter or this you know, the subject of S1. It's probably the, the one that most people have problems with. Okay, it just requires a lot of practice to look at these different types of cases. You need to go through lots of different uh, questions to look at these cases, like, for example, how to separate these, uh, you know, constants from each other and how to find the, you know, that ways that these are together or not together and so on. Uh, something that you have to do uh, a, little, a lot of practice with for you to be able to understand uh, properly. Okay, so that concludes this question and it concludes the rest of the the whole of this paper. We finished the paper now and um, the other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in the top right of this when we have, um, you know, at the end of this video, you'll see on the top right, you'll have the other questions from the paper. Click on that, that will give you the playlist for that. And then you have a playlist here for permutations and combinations. The bottom right, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and on the top here you'll find a link to a video which shows you how to use my channel to find what you might be looking for. Thank you for watching and see you soon.